This is Module 9 for Building Finance, Encumbrance of Funds, and Field Trips at St. George, the Rock Creek USD 323 School District. We align very well with the encumbrance of funds both at the elementary school and high school plus the district office. Myself, if I'm going to order something, I just ordered solar bots and I had to fill out a purchase order. I had to go to the website, get the anticipated cost, shipping, handling, get that sent over to our secretary who does the books. She then will put a purchase order in from there put it down in her books so acting like the money's already gone once it's shipped and payment is handled then it goes specifically onto the books through the high school and my experience with the wrestling would be the same way which is an, an anticipated cost when I do t-shirts so she'll give me a purchase order with a specific number put in the t-shirt order and that line item will be then recorded on her program and it may be that I that variable is altered slightly if somebody else orders a different t-shirt or if they come back and they say oh we don't have that size so that might be a variable that they would have but as far as what the text suggests for it and what Rock Creek is doing it is specifically in line Field trips is a different story with my experience here at St. George, and I can only speak for the elementary school. There is no communication with the principal about where we're going on field trips in the 10 years that I have been here. We've had the program, and our school maybe is a little bit different because it rotates every two years for our thematic units. So when we want to go on a field trip, it's for the most part the same every other year we'll go to the zoo in Topeka that's based off our life science and we will also go to the Kansas Museum which is based off our social studies unit and those two field trips will rotate other field trips that we have gone have been to McCain and even our policy is that we only have one a semester. We also go to Onega Farms. So all of these trips are planned by the teachers with no correlation to and with the principal. So I would say our text, the text does not align with how we do things at Rock Creek. Also, we receive the money. When I taught first and second, we went to the pumpkin patch. So we would receive the money in cash form turn it into the secretary and she would write a check hand it over to the pumpkin patch or the discovery center that we've gone to in the past and that's how that was handled with any refunds they would then have to give us cash back or cash would be taken that day to pay for the extra people that ended up going if we had someone that was questionable maybe due to behavior academics wise so I would say that the field trips are not aligned to what the text says and definite eye-opening as far as talking with the principal and aligning with him about what we're doing in kind of a pre-meeting and a post-meeting as far as the encumbrance of funds I believe that that is in line with what the text said, and we have plenty of safeguards in for that. That is my assessment of Module 9.